Hello and welcome to our next video. In this video we will set up a Sonoff Zigbee 3.0 USB Dongle Plus on Home Assistant using the default ZHA integration. Another video setting up the same dongle with Zigbee to MQTT is being developed and will be released shortly. ZHA is the simplest way of configuring the Sonoff dongle and this is what we will concentrate on in this video. ZHA stands for Zigbee Home Automation. It's built into Home Assistant and is very simple to set up. You just plug in the dongle and it will detect and configure it. It works on many common devices. Zigbee to MQTT works with almost every device. It has a simple interface that hides a lot of configuration. It's part of Home Assistant. Zigbee to MQTT is a separate integration. It runs on many platforms and support is better. There is limited support for firmware updates. You'll need the USB dongle. You may also need a USB extension lead. It's optional but I recommend this to both remove strain from the device and to minimise interference by moving it away from other signals. You'll also need Home Assistant. For many installations this will just work but for Proxmox or another hypervisor you will need to pass through the device to the virtual machine. See the description for a link to how to do this. Once plugged in, you'll have a new device discovered notification. Either click on this or alternatively go to Settings, Devices and Services. You'll see a discovered Sonoff Zigbee 3.0 USB device listed. Click on the blue Configure button. It will ask if you want to set it up. Click Submit. When that's set up, it'll confirm that it found the device and set it up. Click Finish. You'll be taken back to the integration screen. In the Zigbee device box, click Configure. This will take you to a network screen. Click Add Device. Home Assistant will now search for devices. You'll need to put the Zigbee device in pairing mode. This is sometimes done by holding a button in or poking through a pairing hole. Check your device instructions for the pairing method. When a device responds, you'll see the starting interview stage where the device's capabilities and information is acquired. This is followed by a configuration stage. When the box goes green, it's ready to use. For this video I have a motion sensor, a door sensor and a temperature sensor. You can see it's already found the first two but timed out before the temperature sensor can be detected. Click search again to start the process again. Make any changes you need such as giving the devices a meaningful name here. When you're complete, simply click away. Click devices to see these listed. Clicking on a device such as the door sensor gives you an information page. In here it lists technical information, battery level, sensors, switches, diagnostic information and links to any automations, scenes and scripts that use this device. This is real time data as can be seen from the sensor changing. You can also add the device to a dashboard here. We'll do this now. Click Add to Dashboard in the Sensors box. Choose the dashboard, then click Next. Accept the suggested cards and click Add to Dashboard. We'll do the same for the motion sensor.
and for the temperature sensor. If you click onto the Entities tab, you can see the devices listed here. Clicking on one allows you to change the name, icon and Entity ID. If you ever need to get back to the Zigbee integration, click Settings and Devices and Services. Click on the Configure link, this will take you back to the network screen seen earlier. The Groups tab allows you to add several devices together as a group, for instance bulbs within a room. The Visualizations tab shows each device in a map format. Click the dashboard to see the new card set up for the sensors. You can edit these or rearrange them or even select different cards. A future video will cover dashboards, so we won't go into detail here. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you found it useful and click subscribe to see more. If you have any comments or ideas for future videos, please leave a comment below.